Hi, welcome to Play Along. T today we're going to ask you to use your imagination as we show you two examples. We're using a problem from C.J. Greenword from England. The first example, you're playing in a tournament, you are white, and it's your move. But your opponent has asked you for a draw. What do you do? The second example, the same position, you're playing in the park, your opponent is a street player. He has also asked you for a draw. But he goes on and says, look, I'm going to win my checker back, and then it's going to be a three versus three, and you can't beat me. Before we make a decision, let's examine the position without moving the pieces. This is called visualization. First move, we move here. And red presses. He goes 31 to 27. Now we go 24 to 20. Red Tax our checker, he goes 27 to 23, and we move here. Red goes 23 to 18, and we move 14 to 9, and red goes 18 to 14, and is attacking both checkers at the same time. Now we see this, and we see that he's going to win this checker. But we also notice that red has a check on 4 and 12, and that's a weakness. And even though it's going to be a 3 for 3, we feel that we can win this. So we say no to both, and we, we say no, and we make our move, 27 to 24. Now the both moves are going to be the same in both end games uh, in the beginning. So red goes 31 to 27, go here, red goes here. I want to point out, just sometimes it's good to have a second board so you can practice uh, other variations, but if red goes 18 to 15, that uh, it would turn out to a draw. Uh, if white goes 18 to 15, excuse me, red would go 23 to 18 and it would turn out to be a draw. So you go 18 to 14, which is correct. Red presses, he attacks you again. You go 14 to 9. He goes 18 to 14. Now we go 10 to 6. We could have went 10 to 7 also. It works out to the same thing. Red jumps and gets his checker back and it's 3 versus 3. Now we go in and get a king. Now red is, a, is undefeated in the tournament. So he, he, he what's called, this is an important game to him. He wants to at least get a draw. So he's going to think a little while. Why he's thinking we're going to play against a street player. So I'm going to leave this board on hold for now. And when the street player moves fast. So we'll, Good advice when you play somebody who moves fast, maybe you can fold your hands, fold your arms, or take your hands away from the board. This will give you time to think so you don't make the mistakes that you say, oh gee, why did I move this so fast? The street player right away plays four to eight. Now, if you would go two to seven, you would actually lose. Red would go eight to 11 when you jump, he jumps and he has a winning position. Again, you can play that out on the sideboard. So you go 2 to 6, and he goes right away. He goes 8 to 11, and you go 6 to 10. He moves his checker, his king out from 5 to 9. If he moved 12 to 16, he would go 30 to 26. And the same thing when he moves that, you go 30 to 26. Now he goes in here 9 to 13, and you go 26 to 22. He moves 12 to 16, and you come in here 22 to 18. He moves right away 13 to 17, and you squeeze, you go 10 to 15. He comes here 17 to 22, you jump one, he jumps one, you jump one, and from here he resigns. He says, good game, two versus one. So now let's go back to the tournament play. Since we last left, some people have overheard about the offer to draw and that you've turned it down. And they realize this is an important game and they come to watch. Red is thought of a plan. He comes out with his king 5 to 9. And you go 2 to 7. And red goes 9 to 14. And you go 7 to 11. Here red goes 14 to 18. His plan is to free up this check on 12 and get another king. Here you go 30 to 26. This brings out another piece in play for you. 
and he goes 12 to 16. We've been going over the elements of time, space, and force. Now here we have an element of time. For example, if red gets this move in 16 to 19, it will be a draw. So what do you do? Well, all along you were looking for combinations, but you couldn't find any. Here there is a combination. Do you see it? One hint, it's a temporary sacrifice. Here we go, 26 to 32. Red jumps 18 to 27. And now you go 11 to 15. Uh, he, red goes 27 to 23. And you jump him 20 to 11. In this position, the strong tournament player resigns. One of the players who listened to the, who's watching the game says, why did Red just resign? Well, this is a loss by first position. Uh, we will show you this end game, uh, in, uh, a win by first position, God willing, in our next video. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching this video.